Now into a Fox 5 exclusive. Valley attendants targeted at two different restaurants in D.C. Yeah, they were robbed at gunpoint and the victims are only talking to our Shamari Stone. He is live with this story tonight. Shamari? Well, good evening. So many of us go out to restaurants. We shut the door. A valet attendant will walk up and we give them cash. So then they'll park our cars. Well, I exclusively spoke to two of the valet attendants. They're hardworking guys who use these cash tips to take care of their families. They were robbed of hundreds of dollars. Let's roll video to explain how this all unfolded. Well, D.C. police released this surveillance photo of the suspects wearing dark hoods, black masks, 6 p.m. on Sunday. The valet attendant told me there are two teenagers who walked up, placed guns to his neck, robbing him of $500 in cash tips and his iPhone on the 2100 block of 2nd Street Southwest. Now, they hopped in the silver SUV and sped off. Around 45 minutes later, detectives tell me the two suspects robbed another valet attendant, this one on the 700 block of K Street Northwest, pointing guns, saying don't move, taking $150 in cash tips. Tonight, only on Fox 5, both valet attendants tell me they're too terrified to reveal their identities. These guys pulled a gun on you, yeah. robbed you. What was going through your mind? Uh, scary. Raising kids, you know, it's very scary. I feel like nervous, I'm scared because I um, feel like I come back for more. So you were working here and they pulled out a gun? Yes, he pulled up two guys and he said, tell me, don't move. And he tried to touch all my best and put the hands in my pockets and just steal the money. Now, both of those attendants are hardworking. They're really upset, and they're scared of retaliation. Now, we have new information for you. Detectives tell us that suspects were last seen in that silver SUV, right? Well, we have the Maryland temporary tag, and it's Tia's and Tom, 137 -0157. Police are offering a reward of up to $10,000 for information that leads to an arrest and a conviction in this case. Sharin, Jim.